Assalamu alaikum, bonjour, greetings, sabah nor. It's uh, Saturday morning already. I woke up Thursday going, I don't have a video, and I've been trying and trying and trying to think of something I'm gonna do. I haven't been able to get away, I haven't been able to do anything because I've been so busy getting some stuff done. And then I decided, you know what? Instead of worrying about that, why don't you show everyone how you're getting settled in and how you're becoming a little bit more local and local as time goes by. First of all, let me show you. I'm not that far from home. It's right over there. We're gonna go but right out there, just beyond the trees and the traffic, you can see it. Right out there, that's the ocean. I live that close to the ocean. And believe me, I'm not mad about it. Let's go take a walk. So this is, uh, if you know where I am, you know where I am. But uh, yeah, this is, this is where I am so far. We're gonna walk right up this way. So as you can see, we've got a nice big Hanut right here. The guy sells all kinds of stuff, newspapers. Hey, you name it, he's got it here. We've got a coffee shop. Everything's right here. Nice big coffee shop, excuse me, for people who just hanging out in the morning. Great coffee, good place to go. Here's a place to get bread. Hobes of all kinds. It's always nice and hot, really good. Let's see, what else we got going on over here? There's another, there's a fruit stand and another Hanut right there. Uh, the butcher's right around the corner. <clears throat> but I think this part of the walk right here is my favorite. Oh, what was that? Oh, good, it was just a piece of fruit. Didn't feel like it. A little squishy under the foot. So now we're getting a little bit deeper into my neighborhood, which it was just right on the other side of the buildings, it was the road down to the ocean. And I love walking through down here. They're unloading the truck, getting all the vegetables put in from here over to the uh, to this market right here. There's another Hanut right here. Everybody's looking at me really crazy. It's kind of making me nervous. But yeah, we've got uh, this whole thing will be just completely full of all kinds of fruits and vegetables and everything. And we've got that Hanut right there. We've got all the cats sitting here waiting for their piece of the pie or the fish. Here's where all the fish, the seafood. I think there's another guy that does some stuff over there. There's another place right here where we can get bread. Sabah Noor. Salam Alaikum. And you've got all these shops all over the year, all over here. Uh, not all of them are open all the time. And it's also pretty early in the morning, especially on a Saturday. But you can get pretty much anything you need done here. A lot of places to get your hair cut, uh, get clothes mended, buy clothes. There's a place right here that you can end up buying clothes. There's my favorite little Hanut right there. And all these up here are all apartments. But I love this courtyard and there's always kids playing here like well after they wake up there's always kids playing here I've always got a little soccer game a little football or soccer game going on right here playing all up and down it's kind of great and we walk over here take a little detour so there's a little shot of the neighborhood you have a uh, kind of an idea if you know Rabat if you know the area you know pretty much where I'm staying um, um, so I'm sitting out here with my new friend. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? I love animals. Look, you just start petting on a cat or a dog. You just like, you just kind of get addicted to it and you just sit there and you just keep petting them and they're not going to stop you, you know? So anyways, out here in the neighborhood, I'm going to wait until we go in and show you the apartment because I don't have a lot of furniture to absorb the sound right now. And it's very echoey. You'll see. But it's been a it's been a crazy month, and I haven't uh, anything that I've been able to get away from the house and go do has just been uh, been pretty lucky. Um, even just to go out for a short ride or or go to someone's house and, and cook lunch, uh, I do had really no idea what I was going to be doing. Simply because everything's just so crazy and sporadic, and you're working on Moroccan timing and things don't always happen when and how you expect them like not even close and that's been a big deal for me and it's been kind of messing with my head honey uh, i uh, 
Uh, it's all good now because uh, I've got this apartment. I've got a year lease. Um, Omar, thank you. Latifa, his mother. I could not have done this as quickly or it, nor would it had turned out as well had they not been by my side and helping me out and, and looking out from my best interest on this. You two are amazing, amazing people and thank you so much for allowing me to stay in your home. It was just the best, thank you. Um, but I don't live far from either one of them. Uh, they, it's a five minute walk and so I can go and visit them anytime they can come over. It's a good thing. They've introduced me to some great people. I've got some fantastic neighbors. Some of them actually even speak English. Uh, and so, so far everything has just been really great. As I showed you, the beach is just right down the road. I mean, it's literally just right on the other side of those trees out that way. And I live just a short walk right over there. Uh, we're gonna get to that. Actually, we should probably do that now. Oh, you wanna come say bye? Or are you trying to stop me? No, he doesn't care. Okay, bye-bye. <clears throat> oh, so the experience of getting this whole thing was just insane. And, and the, the utility company, uh, Radol, uh, that, I mean, it just goes to show that the Moroccan timing, the time schedules and, and how things work here, and it's just the way it is over here. It's, it's not a big deal. It's, it, it can be if you're not used to it, it's things like that, but, uh, once you get used to it and you, you, you come to understand how things work, uh, the timing of how it all works, uh, it works out in your favor a lot better because then you can start to, to once you learn to assimilate to that, it, it, it's fine. It just takes some getting used to, like a lot. <laughs> so, I lost track of where I was because I'm, it's, yeah. Radol, the utility company. First, they said that we're gonna get it done, do everything a week later. I still did not have any electricity, any water. Finally got the electricity, got the meter put in. Then, still four days later, I don't have any water. Don't go out there. They, I'm still waiting on them to put the meter in. I go, I've already paid for everything, it's all done. Still no meter. They finally, finally get the guy to come in and put the meter in. He puts the meter in, but he doesn't connect the meter to my water line. Why would you, why would you draw the line at not connecting the water actually? But I don't know, I guess his job is his job. I don't know. Anyways, we finally got it all done. Everything's fine. It was just a big hassle at first. Uh, now I will say that the guy in Radol, the guy that I worked with was very nice. And he, when he realized that things weren't getting done, he put the pressure on people to say, hey, no, get this guy taken care of. There's no point in this. And he was really, really great. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not throwing Radol into the bus. I'm not trying to make them look bad. It's just one of these things with the Moroccan timing that I'm trying to get used to and how things work or why. There's a lot going on in, in mixing these, you know, what I know and coming into this culture, the assimilation. Sometimes it's a little rough, it's a little rocky, but I have so much to be grateful for. I'm right down the road from the ocean. You saw how cool this little thing is. For me, it's really cool. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that for my people in America and, and people who've never been here, that's a pretty cool place to live and it's all right there and everybody's so nice. So this is the courtyard. This is, uh, they're working on beautifying this whole thing. I hear that's not that old. Uh, they're getting ready to start putting some grass in. Uh, they've been doing a lot of beautification in the neighborhood up and down the main street and it's looking really, really good. And this part of the neighborhood's next. All right, so let's go up into my echo chamber, also known as my apartment. All right. All right, guys, so here we are in the entryway. First thing I want to show you is my doorbell. Listen to this. Okay. <laughs> I've never had a bird doorbell before, so that's, uh, I'm not going to worry about changing that. All right, so here we are on the entryway. I don't know why I have an empty bottle in there, but that's fine. There's shelves, all kinds of storage space here. I'll probably never even use close to all of that. And here's where my shoes go. Ta -da. Put on my house shoes.
Now let's take a tour. Now I also want to get into how much I paid for a lot of this stuff because uh, I paid for what I paid, you know, for what my experience, what I paid is a really, really good deal. You guys may just be blown away how much I paid for something, but for me, things were still very inexpensive. Uh, they were reasonable, I'll put it that way. They were very reasonable. So the people who rented this to me, let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Um, they made sure that things were in order and they said, if there's something that's not working, you can either contact us, we'll have it fixed, or if you want to do the cost up front, let us know and we'll work something out. So no matter what, everything's been taken care of and I've been given a very good deal. So without any further ado, let me show you this place. Again, I hope the echo is not too much in here. Um, I'm getting more and more stuff put in, but shweb shweb, shweb 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 shweb, dershub and dershub. So here's my laundry room. Here's my washing machine and dryer. It's a, it's a combo, but more than likely, I'm gonna just do like everybody else and save a bunch of electricity and money and hang my stuff out to dry because I've got like two, three places here where I can hang everything up, and this is one of them. This is my laundry room. Um, I I had the water heater installed. I, so I paid for that, I had the water heater installed, I paid for this. These are both brand new. There's my cooktop. I'm working on getting a table. It's gonna go right there, so I'll cook right here. Have a, another table over that, maybe for my spices, or put them up here with the rest of my food. Not sure how that's gonna work out yet. I've got a new refrigerator. Ah, and it has milk and butter. What can I say? Last night was literally the first night that I've spent here and I've had this apartment for like three weeks trying to get things done. It's just been insane. So, I've, oh, oh, and I've got my whole coffee world set up. I've got my French press. I found a French press. Yes. I've got my cups, my electric kettle, my coffee grinder, and I just went ahead and just went crazy on the coffees to find my favorite ones. I've got plenty of cabinet space. Handy little trash can. Guys, I can't begin to tell you how happy I am about this apartment. I mean, every single thing about this has just turned out better than expected. And so far, so good. So here's the living room. Um, and it's empty. <laughs> uh, refrigerator box, ladder. I mean, everything's still going on here. This is a little bit of a view. Pharmacy's right over there, so if I need anything, and those are really cool people over there. I've already gone over there to uh, get a couple things, and really, really cool people. My neighborhood. <laughs> now here's something that I found very peculiar. You have a room that has just the toilet. Just the toilet paper, the toilet, nothing else in here, no mirror, no sink. But then just a few steps away, turn on the light, we have the rest of the bathroom. Now, here's what I love. Not only does it have a shower, but it's got a bathtub. Guys, I am a huge fan of a nice long hot bath. They work wonders. So I've got all the stuff going on in here. I still need a shower curtain. Uh, yeah, all my stuff. And here's my bedroom. This is where the magic happens, folks. And when I say magic, I do mean that glorious, often undervalued sleep. I love sleep. And here's my bed, window, the breeze blows right in. And one of the most important things in the house is this fan next to the bathtub and my coffee stuff that is right up there with them. That's an important thing. So I've kind of got things all still around. I have a long way to go. And here's the view out of my window. Yeah, that's right, no one can see me. It's awesome, I love it. A little bit of a view over there. A little bit going on out here, but that's it. Otherwise, it's kind of a, it's kind of a secluded little thing here with the trees, it's perfect. I can see you, but you can't see me. And here is the second bedroom. Yeah, it's two bedroom. How about that? So what do you think, guys? I, I'm loving this place. Uh, I think I'm gonna go outside. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling that this is all very echoey and I don't wanna put you through too much of it.
back out here in the courtyard. Hope the audio is a little bit better. Um, so with all the appliances, um, all the, you know, my French press, my, my electric kettle, uh, all the, the coffee, all these things, um, uh, everything that I've bought for this place and put into it, which is also included, uh, a lot of extensive plumbing installation of, uh, a washing machine, uh, taking care of a drainage problem in the kitchen and in the washroom, uh, replacing stuff in the shower. I, uh, uh, so much of the plumbing uh, that had some electrical work done and then had someone come in and do an amazing job of scrubbing this place down, getting it ready to move in. I promise could have picked any surface in the house and eaten off of it. It was absolutely amazing. And I paid for all of that, the appliances, those services, everything that I have that I've pointed out. Uh, and I've paid probably about a thousand dollars for all of that. And I still had enough money to go eat lunch at this guy's place. And if you have never been to this guy's place, he's over here in Rabat. I don't really know exactly where, but if you recognize this place, if you've seen it, uh, it's uh, it's kind of towards the south end. It's almost around in the camera area. Uh, the best tacos, absolutely the best tacos. Good price, very, very friendly service. He's always, always, always spot on with these tacos. Love them. So everything, the dollar went very far with all of this, including that fabulous lunch. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting something. I know that there's, there's somebody or something that I forgot to mention and I'm sorry, but you get the gist of my life and what's going on. Uh, working on getting my cards azure and this one year lease is a massive, massive step. I've got everything in my name and it's all coming down to that. So. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you. I got a lot, 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 lot to do. I still got to edit this video and go through so much garbage that I've tried to work out with this video. <laughs> it's dumb. So yeah, got video work to do and uh, finished moving in. Busy day. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one.